standards. Our mission here is intentional to be focused about beauty, beauty of real food, real wine. You know, it's Our Lady's business, yeah. and so it is. It does belong to her ultimately. Be glad of life, because it gives you the chance to love, to work, to play, and to look up at the stars. It's by Henry Van Dyke. Jerry's family has been here since the 1850s, mm -hmm. and he's fifth generation. And so it is a, it's very rich in history, this area. But the flood of 1861 wiped the entire town out. And so Jerry's family, uh, well, his uncles had great, great, great uncles. uncles, had a one lane bowling alley and some other commerce there. And, um, and they're also, again, very resourceful. They drug up from that site all manner of windows and even a couple of rooms to start the house, which was started in 1862. The story of, of uh, Jerry and Elaine, uh, you know, legacy that they've had here on the farm, uh, I think that's probably one of the biggest things that I enjoy. We took that barn apart piece by piece and pulled the nails and we've used um, a lot of the wood in this structure. So we call it a kind of our Caravaggio effect. You have this light and play of light and dark. And so we're able to open it up and, and, and have the light. So Oregon's so dark during the winter, so all through the winter in the grays, we, we are pretty much naturally lit. And so this space is about sound and light, and um, which are two elements of beauty that are integral, right? One is, is, is obvious, but sound is outside of time in a lot of ways. My grandmother, she was came from this strong, Catholic family and they lived uh, their little house is where St. John's is in Oregon City now. I, a good friend and I decided that we would say a year-long novena for our vocations and um, so and it was to Therese. We're very much a um, novena type family. His sermon was on the vocation of the agrarian vocation and so I would like to say that's when I got my so 38 years ago the, the idea of just being a farmer versus it being a vocation. Our girls have also sung, I haven't been a, a soccer mom, I've been a choir mom, <laughs> and so they have sung in the cantores in Ecclesia Choir. Francis' is encyclical last year about nature, you know, how those, and we're just thinking about John Paul II, you know, and you build on top of Humana Vitae, all of those things about the natural order, they all work together. Yeah. One of our, our labels on the back label we have this Dante quote, and it's beauty awakens the soul to act. And in that, um, you know, Benedict talked about it uh, quite a bit about how beauty is this language. Whether there's green stuff growing out there or just dirt or the tractor going in circles, they love it. It's just like, oh, this is so beautiful. We're going to get a glass of wine. We're going to sit outside. It's like, okay. You know, I like to think is it's kind of a European feel of this is a destination. You come here and you're not in a hurry. This was a, another machine shop. It had the tractors and the combines and we, we were much younger then. And we just moved, you know, backed all the tractors and combines out and we brought all the, the tanks in and we, we jumped off the, the cliff. Seven. Seven. These are grapes that were just picked. This is Merlot. Uh, so this is Pinot Noir, this is uh, harvested from Shehala Mountains. So the, the basic idea of wine is yeast eats the sugar and gives off alcohol and CO2. And one way a winemaker is like a, is a, a shepherd of yeast. Yeah. 